Hey everyone, Dan here. I wanted to take a look at some price targets that we can look for in the coming week. And um, before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. So we'll kick things off with, with GME. You know, GameStop has had a crazy run, as I'm sure you know, unless you've been under a rock. Uh, it was previously in this channel for several days and then has broken out of it and has been consolidating for several days, which is what you anticipate when something breaks out of its channel. And then <clears throat> sort of the next thing that's going to happen is it should make a pretty big move one direction or the other. Um, there's no real way to know until it starts to make the move, um, you know, if it's going to break up or down. But typically after a channel break and a consolidation period, the price movement, whichever direction it goes, is often pretty significant. So um, my color scheme here, and you know, for this video with these price targets, we can just pay attention to the boxes. So this red box is basically my my downside, you know, if it turns down where I'd expect it to be this week. My blue is if it's, you know, it has sort of like moderate price activity but doesn't do a ton. And then my green, which I'll zoom out to show you when we get there. Uh, is my my bullish price target for the week. So on the downside, you know, I would look for GameStop to to hold up like 239 down to 212, say. Um, so if it does have sort of like a challenging week, I wouldn't expect it to drop much more than there. Um, if it does, you know, I think people are sort of like holding their breath waiting to see if a big drop is going to happen as, um, as we saw last time when it pumped up. Um, but it does have all of this cushion of support underneath it, which I've said in my other videos, which you could watch. And so, you know, you'll definitely see it falling through all these levels of support. And that should sort of indicate to you to take another look and, um, make your own decision at that point, basically. <clears throat> but that's where I'd be looking for it to, to have a reasonable settling point if it does have, um, a red week. On the sort of like moderate continue continue to consolidate essentially um, price target, you know, I look for it to stay in this blue box, say two ninety two down to two seventy five or so, um, and you know, if it does continue continue to consolidate this entire week, I'd be a little bit surprised just because there's so much attention and volatility with GameStop. Um, it would be kind of surprising for a whole week to go by and it doesn't make a bigger move than that. But, you know, it could certainly make some moves and then still settle here. But this is my sort of like moderate price target that I'm looking for for the week. And then zoom out to the daily just so you can see where the green box is. This is my bullish target for 20 down to say 372, I think is a good zone. Um, and that would be sort of like you know, if it gets back toward this purple and this blue, um, which indicate buy and sell zones that, that we've seen previously in the price action. So that's what I'm looking for from GameStop. Let's move on to AMC. Also falls into sort of like the Reddit meme stock category. Um, <clears throat> so same color theme here uh, as to not be too confusing. So AMC has, uh, you know, been looking really good this last week. It had um, a nice push off of this area that it was struggling with in the nines and has sustained that along this yellow line. This 1009 is clearly um, establishing as long-term support at this point. Remember, I mean, in the trading uh, vernacular, long-term can mean just like a week. Um, <laughs> so I'm not talking about long-term being six months or a year or something like that. But um you know, if it does have a downturn, that's sort of like where I got this red box from was I wouldn't expect it to breach that 1009. If it does, I would really watch out, see what's happening, um, because we don't want it to fall back into those nines. And um, it's just a, a it's a big struggle zone for AMC in this nine dollar range. So that would be my downside on AMC 1043 down to just say 1010. Um, you know, if it does con continue to consolidate, sort of awaiting a bigger move. This is where I'd, I'd put it. Um, and this is essentially because this is like in the middle of all of these yellow support and resistance lines. So I could see it just batting itself around here for 
for potentially several days um, as we get into the week. But hopefully, you know, we can get some strong movement one way or another because as we are traders, we look for um, big price moves to trade off of. And if we zoom out to the daily, this will show you my upside. My upside target for this week is like 1420 down to like mid 13s essentially. So mid 13s up to the low 14s is what I'd be looking for on my bullish scenario. And um, let's see what happens. And lastly, for this video, let's take a look at Fubo. Fubo, sorry. <laughs> I always um, say it wrong before I say it right. But F U B O. Um, you know, my red zone here, I would look for it to strongly hold this 29.55. Even if it comes down and develops that as a resistance, I would expect it to stay very close to 2955 and keep sort of like attempting to breach it. So that, that would be my downside for, um, FUBO, you know, low 29s up to <clears throat> like mid to high 29s. Um, and then on the consolidation side, you know, if it just has sort of like a moderate move, um, like nothing great, nothing terrible. Uh, 35 down to like low 33s will be my price targets for this week. And then on the upside, um, this gets pretty hard to see. Apologies. But, um, the green box here, you know, getting close to 37 down to like mid 36s. So pretty tight ranges, um, for FUBO, but it's just, um, it has had some, big swings in the past, but they've taken several days to develop. Um, whereas, you know, GameStop and AMC have these like much more wild, wild swings. So that's why the, the price targets on FUBO are a little bit more tight. Um, and they're a little bit more spread out on GameStop and AMC, but that's where I'd see things. Um, for this coming week. And, you know, if you want to keep up as, as the week is developing, you can follow me on Twitter. I'll put that description below, or sorry, I'll put that in the description below. And, um, feel free to leave comments here. Uh, you know, it definitely helps everyone, I think, if folks, um, share ideas or ask questions. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.